I say kill her and be done with it. No call for that, Wynn. She ain't likely to find her way back to the wagon train from here. Supposing she does, I wouldn't put nothing past her. And how's she gonna get there? Don't ask me. Don't ask me how she does nothing. She ain't human. That's a fact. She's haunted. Just the same. All we agreed to was to carry her way up here in the hills and dump her. That's right. She could have get far. No food, no water. All right, but I'm warning you, we're making a mistake. We're giving you your chance, but there ain't gonna be no second one. So stay away from our wagons if you know what's good for you. Jeremy! Wait! Your little girl, Delcy. What are you talking about, Marie? Tomorrow. Tomorrow her throat is going to hurt. It's going to be bad, Jeremy. There she goes again. What did I tell wait you? Wait a minute, wait a minute. I want to know what she's talking about. What about Delcy Marie? She's shocking. She may die. And all the other children, they be sick. Are you satisfied? She's just trying to get even, trying to scare us. Is that what you're trying to do, Marie? Gwen, come on. Let's get out of here. She's giving me the creeps. his tracks. Yep. He's a smart one, though, ain't he? Yeah, but I think we're gonna get him this time. Well, we better. The rate he's been getting our strays, we ain't gonna be able to run no beef down here at all if we don't. Come on. You.
Doggone, that's the prettiest he's been since he was born. You know, I could have sworn I saw something else up on that rock. Nah, you just excited over seeing old big boy here, that's all. Uh, I saw something. Hey, Hoss, come here. Let's see how bad she's hurt. Where in tarnation she come from, anyhow? Yeah, where and how? There's nobody living within miles of here. I'll go get my canteen. Field. You got off lucky, young lady. Just a few bruises, a wrenched ankle. Nothing to worry about. Any pain? No. Well, let's try walking for a spell. There you are. Now take it easy. Don't put too much weight on right away. That's it. Yeah. Well, you better not walk on it any more than you have to. Oh, and uh, if you should notice any headaches, I want to know at once, understand? Thank you. You are kind. Not at all. Some rain, don't you think, Ben? I'll get you a use some. I think she'll be all right. Huh? All she needs is to stay off her feet for a few days and rest. Who is she, do you know? No. Boys found her up at uh, Red Bluff Peaks. Miles from anywhere, lying there unconscious. Just looked down the gully and there she was, all by herself. No horse, no buggy, no burro, no nothing. Looked kind of spooky to me. Oh, come on, Hoss. Well, I better be on my way here. Say hello to Mrs. Martin. I surely will. Good night, Ben. Good night. Good night, Doc. Yes, I am better. Oh, uh, my, my name is Cartwright, Ben Cartwright, and my son, Horse. You are very kind. Oh, you, uh, you sure gave us a bit of a scare there. <laughs> For a little while, we'd... Oh. She was very beautiful, your wife. So young when she died. 
That was very sad. Who told you that? It's the music box. It makes me see pictures. Oh, you think I'll go get the doc back? What, what, what do you mean? Uh, it, it, it makes you see pictures. I don't understand. But I see her very clearly. She was your father's wife. But she was not your mother. Your mother died before her. Well, I'm gonna go out and help Joe in the bar now. See you after a while. But how, how do you know all this? Oh, it's, a, it's just a game, I, I, I guess. Uh, I don't even know your name. Marie? What was her name? I know. What do you mean you know? I meant... Well, it, it is a name that suited her. The music box, it seemed to say. Marie. <sighs> What's your last name? You don't want to tell me? Well, some, some reason for you not wanting to tell me? Or are, you, are you in some kind of trouble? If you are, I'd like to help you, if, if I could. Why should you? Well, for one thing, because you come from the same part of the country that she came from. Louisiana, isn't that right? You know the Bayou people? Yes, that's right. I know them quite well. Very well. But she was not from the Bayou, your Marie. Not from the swamps. She was from New Orleans. A Creole. I mean... Now look, somebody had to tell you that. You couldn't have guessed that. No, I, I guess it. It's not so strange to guess. Many people guess many things. Yeah, but it's, it's strange that you should have guessed that. It, different, it's... Uh, you, you're, you're different. It... No. No, I am not different. 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 What's the matter, Hoss? You off your feet? Yeah, I reckon I am a little bit bummed. I don't seem to have much appetite this morning. Well, I think we ought to mark that down on a calendar. Any day he's off his feet. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> you feeling too well? I feel fine, boy. It's just... Well, it's that... It's that spooky gal we got in the house. We got to get rid of her somehow. Well, why is she upsetting you? Well, she... She don't exactly upset me. I... I just don't understand her. I, I can't explain it. It's, but it, it's like that music box. Now, how did she know that music box belonged to Little Joe and Ma? Explain that. No, I, I don't know, Hoss. Well, somebody, somebody could have told her. Where? When? How? I don't know. Now, could, how'd she know Little Joe's Ma was dead, and that that my Ma had already died before her? How'd she know all that? Well, there must be some explanation. Another thing. You ever notice how she looks at you, them old big eyes of hers, and it's, it's like she sees you, and yet she don't really see you. It's like she knows something that nobody else knows. Oh, come on. Well, you, are she talking like she's some kind of a ghost or something? How do you know she ain't? Oh. Well, 
Morning, Marie. Morning. Morning. Have a wonderful breakfast waiting for you. Come on, we got a wagon load of grain to pick up in town. How does your, uh, how does your ankle feel this morning? Oh, it's much better, thank you. Well, good. Yeah, sit down. What are you looking at me like that for? Oh, excuse me, I, I did... Little Joe, do you go fishing? Do I what? Do you go fishing? Well, yeah, sometimes I do. Why? Oh, oh, nothing. I, I, I just wonder. Come on, little brother. We got work to do. Yeah. Hey, look, sometimes when I, uh, sometimes when I go up on a lake, you can come with me. Well, we can hook into a big bass. Okay. What's all that about, young lady? He is in danger, Mr. Cartwright. Well, uh, what kind of danger? Something bad is going to happen. Marie, let's have some breakfast, huh? No. No, there is something. A fish and... Arrow and something black. He must be careful. It will harm him. What will harm him? A fish and an arrow. Now, Marie, that makes just no sense at all. I would bring harm to you. I must leave your house. Now, Marie. You're an intelligent young lady. No. No, it's true. They all told me. I'm voodoo. I'm no, voodoo. You're, you're talking about superstitious nonsense now. It's not nonsense. Of course it is. No, they all tell me. Since I was a child of ten, I bring the evil. I, I make my father to fall from the boat in the swamp. He loses his arm no, Marie, on the wagon it. train. I make the horse to fall and break his leg. I, I make the wagon to catch fire. And I, I make a child to choke to death. Oh, no, no, Marina, stop it. No! It's happening. It's happening again. I make it happen to your son. It's happening. The blackness. He lies on the ground. His eyes. Oh, oh, mon Dieu. His eyes. I... Now there... There is... Nothing. I... See nothing. Boy, listen, that wind, Joe. Pretty good rain coming. Boys, tell me the name of a doctor in Virginia City. Yeah, Dr. Martin. His office right across the street from the Palace Hotel. Thank you. Sure looks like a storm blowing right into West Valley. Hey, is that where you're coming from? The wagon train to California from Louisiana. We're better down there for wagon repairs. You boys will excuse us. We've got to get our daughter to a doctor. Louisiana. Is that where that spooky gal came from? That's right. Wes 
Peach Valley. That's close to over there where we found her. Looks like she might have run away from that wagon train, reckon? I don't know. If so, I wonder why. I don't know. Mama? Yes? I can't breathe. I'm choking. It's all right, Kelsey. It, it's just a sore throat. The doctor will fix you up in no time. Mama? Yes? Mama, am I going to die? I guess you must be right, Hoss. She must have gone with that wagon train. No, why don't you just ask her? No, I asked her, but she wouldn't tell me where she was from. She's a frightened girl. Well, what are we going to do with her? Well, first off, I guess we'd better find out whether she came with that train. How long do you think it would take to ride out to the West Valley? About an hour? Yeah, I'll go, Pa. Oh, no. Not you, Joe. Uh, I have something else for you to do. Horse, why don't you ride out there, see if her folks are with that wagon train. And if they are, tell them Marie's here and she's well, and they can come and get her at any time. Get her. Now, what's that job you got for me, Pa? Oh, yes. Uh, take this into Dr. Martin in town. There's a note inside which will explain everything. And uh, he'll give you something to bring back to me. Yes, sir. Yes, who is it? Oh, it's, uh, it's me, Marie, uh, Mr. Cartwright. Oh, come in. It's not locked. Oh, I, I didn't waken you, did I? <sighs> no, it's all right. Are you, uh, feeling better? Oh, yes. <laughs> I've not slept like that for weeks. Oh, good. Well, you'd better take the weight off your foot. <sighs> it's so, it's so peaceful here. One feels happiness, contentment. Well, I'm glad it's agreeing with you. <clears throat> Marie, I... There's something that I, uh, I'd like to tell you. You did what you had to do. What? My mama and papa. You have sent word to them that I am here. Who told you that? I know. You, you, you couldn't. I try to tell you, but you do not believe me. I am voodoo. I see things happen before they happen. Now, Marie, nobody can do that. Oh, I know you are trying to help me, but me. Nobody can help me. I make the terrible things to happen. No, Marie, nobody can make things happen. What have you got there? Get that. In the bayou. When I was ten, my nurse gave it to me. I must wear it always. If I don't, I will die. Oh, look, Marie. Look at me. You've got to stop believing these things.
Boss? Oh, hi, Paul. Run into much rain? Yeah, over there in the West Valley, mostly. Well, what'd you find out at the uh, wagon camp? Well, I found out that her ma and pa are there. Oh, did you tell Marie was with us? I sent word to him through a fellow by the name of Wynn Grady that I met on the outside of the camp. That's as close as they let me get. How come? Well, they, they got sickness in that camp, Paul. Bad sickness. And a bunch of the youngins have got what looks like diphtheria. And that ain't all. This, this fellow Grady tells me that this girl up here brought it to him. song for. Fish. Arrow. Fish. Fish and arrow. I'll catch you. let up for a spell we promised Jeremy we wouldn't move till he got here wonder what's keeping him maybe Delcy took a turn for the worse there ain't no sicker than my young or mine please I find out what you're going to do please she is my daughter well, what about our kids all of them sick some of them dying all on account of her Leave them alone, Francois. Leave them alone. We must do what must be done. Your own daughter, Renée. You can do this to your own. She's voodoo. Madame Dove told us. And always I've told you this. Madame Dove was a superstitious old woman out of her mind. That you hired to nurse Marie when she was sick. And now our own daughter. She has become one of them. She's voodoo. That's right, ma'am. We don't like this no more than you do. But we gotta get rid of her once and for all. Oh, no, please. What kept you, Jeremy? She's dead. Uh -oh. My little Delcy's died about a half hour ago. Choking. Like she was being hung. <laughs> Let's get. Oh, please. Oh, no, please. Right up to him, and something spooked him. He took off like breeze like I don't know who that horse belonged to. Well, I, I saw his brand. He's one of the Jameson brothers' studs. Jameson brothers? Yeah, that fish and arrow brand. That's right. Well, Doc Martin said the stuff in here ought to answer your questions, Bob. Joseph, there's a black stallion loose around here somewhere. Stay away from him. Uh, why? Just do as I tell you. Don't ask any questions. What you getting mad at me for, Bob? I didn't do anything. <sighs> Seems to be a storm coming up. Why don't you check the stock in the north pasture? Yes, sir. Guess we'd better check the west pasture. Yes, sir. I'll get your horse full.
old she-devil. You know any prayers, which ain't very likely. You better start saying them. Look at her. Standing there just as calm as a statue. What's the matter, little she-devil? Ain't you scared? Don't you feel no human feelings at all? Careful, Wynn. She may be a working one of her spells. Not anymore, she won't. All right, let's get on with it. Why'd you do it, Marie? Why'd you take my Dulcie away? She never done you no harm. Can you bring her back to me? Can you bring her back to me and to her ma? Marie, can you please? Jeremy, talk sense. She ain't about to do nothing like that, even if she could. Maybe she can. Maybe she can take away all the sickness since she brought it on. Can you take the sickness away? Can you do that, Marie, before you die? Our children are sore sick with the diphtheria. <laughs> Delcy's up and died. Heisters. Take the diphtheria away, will you? Please. down now. You're making a mistake, Mr. Cartwright. It's far enough. She's a she-devil. Now you let us have her. So you could put her at the end of a rope? You let her down. Fellas, where are you from? We come from the wagon train. And her ma and pa knowed what we was coming over here to do, and they didn't try to stop us. So why did you? Why are you taking her side, Mr. Cartwright? Jeremy here lost his young'un. That's right. She told me my little girl was going to be sick, and that's what happened, just like she said. Now my little girl is dead. Well, do you think that she made her die? All she did was warn you about it. You're grown men. You talk as if you're from the Dark Ages. I tell you, my little daughter's dead. Look, I'm sorry about that. But if Marie wanted her dead, why would she warn you? Because she's a devil woman and she ain't fit to live. Marie did tell us about those bad things before they happened. The rain! The rain is coming back. It's worse than before. The wagons. Oh, mon Dieu, the wagons. Move them. Or they will drown beneath the great wall of water from the mountains. The women. The women are screaming. The children. The children. Flash flood, it's possible. The children. The rest of you stay here if you want. I'm getting back to my family. The children. The children. The children. I still think you're making a mistake, mister. You're gonna be sorry. It's all right. It's all right, buddy. It's all right. All right, buddy. Hey, Paul. What's going on, anyhow? Did you find little Joe the way I asked you to? Yeah, I found him, but he, he didn't want to come down. He won't stay after that black stallion. I told him to stay away from that animal. It's all right, Marie. All right. Little Joe. The fish. The arrow.
Did you see that? He settled down the minute he seen her. Oh, it's good to tell little Joe to come back here. Yes, sir. Why won't you? What do you want from me? Bon Dieu, bon Dieu, answer me. Why must I be different? I wait for your answer. I am coming to you, just as you said, down into the darkness. Madame Dove, do you hear me? You are right. Everything you taught me, I am yours forever and ever. From the darkness I come. To the darkness, I return. Ah! Hey, hurry, ah! hurry, stop it! I killed your son. I killed your son. I made that horse come here. I killed your son. Marie's warning that saved his life. Now, I was wondering why he bit my head off about that black horse. Well, if you'd listened to me, you wouldn't have been hurt at all. Then she didn't make it happen. Oh, of course not. <laughs> you see, so many people have been telling Marie that she's bad and evil, that well, she's come to believe it herself. My poor Marie. Even I did not understand her. When the men came back to save the wagon from the flash flood, it was because she warned them. Oh, well, yes. Of course. You see, your daughter has a rare gift, ability to, to be able to foretell things. Foretell? Yes. A doctor in Europe has been making... Uh, making studies of exactly this very thing. He's been doing some research with a number of people, and well, he's found even a, a peasant girl who, without education, can, can see things happen before they've happened. Did you show Marie these? Yes, I showed Marie these, but she's so mixed up, she doesn't know what to believe or who to believe. That's why I have my son, Hoss bring you out here, Mrs. Dumas. You must make Marie believe that this ability of hers is not harmful. Hoss, will you ask Marie to come down, please? Yes, sir. But how can I face her? What can I say? You're her mother. I'm sure you'll find the right words. Oh, but it was I who exposed her to all these terrible things. I sent for a remedy woman to treat her with herbs when she was sick, instead of getting a real doctor. 
I did not know that Madame Dove was Mama Loy. Mama Loy? Voodoo Queen. Voodoo Queen? Well, no wonder Marie... Can you forgive me? I didn't know. I didn't understand. Did you know those men were coming to kill me? I could not stop them. What can I say? No. I should have thrown myself in front of their horses. And Papa? You see, my mother and father, they know I am voodoo. No, Marie. You have been sick for such a long time. Now it is time to put an end to it. Please, Marie, come with me. I will help you. And Papa. I will make him understand. And if he does not, we will go together without him. But he will not stay away from us long. In time, he will come to us. Trust your Mama Mary. I know I do not deserve this, but please, I beg you. Now we go. Buggy's ready. Well, um, goodbye. Thank you, Mr. Carter. I Thank you too, Mr. Cartwright, for bringing me out of the darkness. Whatever this gift of yours is, use it well. And with your mother's help, I, I know you will. Well, goodbye again. Have a good trip. Thank you. Boss, yeah. I see something. The Virginia City race tomorrow. Yeah. And Apple Lucy's gonna win. Bet everything you've got. Thanks, Joe. What are brothers for? Get up! Get up! I think she's gonna be all right, Pop. Yeah, I think so. Joe, wouldn't it be wonderful if everybody made a real effort to understand whatever is strange and unfamiliar, rather than fear it and try to destroy it? 